Hello and thank you for subscribing to InfoWars Tech. This is a channel where we explore new trends in technology like artificial intelligence, machine learning, data analytics, programming languages like Python. Today uh, we have a short tutorial and this is a follow-up of last week's tutorial where we showed how you can install a virtual environment inside Windows 10. Today I'm following that uh, up with installing virtual environment a Python virtual environment in a Linux uh, environment so let's get started as you can see uh, I have um, a Linux uh, distribution already installed and I have a terminal open I am not showing how I install this but just to give you a quick background uh, this is a Rocky 8 Linux uh, distribution running on VirtualBox so both are open source um, and let me just quickly show you the version for this so and uh, if you are familiar Rocky Linux is a replacement for CentOS and this is an extremely powerful um, in place um, um, Linux distribution which will now have uh, full community support so it can be used in even in an enterprise setting so let's let's uh, move ahead now and uh, take a look at uh, what is installed so let me just check um, I did install Python earlier but it's, it's very simple to install it using the yum command let me just quickly uh, check for Python and uh, once we get results so I have Python 3.8.3.9 installed uh, let me also check for pip which is the Python installer and see if I have that installed so with Python 3 I will be using uh, pip 3 okay so that is installed as well let's take a quick uh, list of what are some of the packages that are installed and I just take a quick count so we have about if I remember about 6500 plus packages so about 6896 packages so yeah this uh, I did uh, by the way installed a full uh, version of the of Rocky Linux so it does come with a lot of packages okay so let's uh, go ahead and install virtual environment it might give me an error because or a message because I already have installed previous to this but it's still so V and V and you, you'll notice if you watched my previous video that it's very similar to the installation on Windows so you can say see that it, it says it's already installed and those requirements are satisfied so let's go ahead and create uh, environment so I'm just calling this uh, my virtual environment you can call it anything you want this will create a directory structure where we will then be able to launch our virtual environment so once that is done I'm going to activate that environment so I'm going to move into that so that's my directory that I just created the bin folder and simply activate so once I hit activate you can see that the cursor has changed indicating that now we are in a virtual environment so anything that I will do within this environment uh, will be separate from the the parent environment so this is uh, ideal for a requirement or application where a developer might want to run two different versions so the Python virtual environment allows us to do this uh, very very easily uh, let me see if I can install or upgrade uh, let's say one application called nano which is like a text editor okay let so okay this is already let me see if I can just run a whole upgrade on on this uh, 
current so it seems to be so in any case you can install individual applications or maybe upgrade this environment so it will be different from the parent environment and that is the whole idea that uh, you can run two different environments on the same machine very useful um, especially for a developer or someone uh, doing some testing now in order to deactivate it's a simple command deactivate and um, you're back into the parent environment so this is a very quick uh, tutorial uh, I didn't go into detail of how I installed uh, Rocky Linux on VirtualBox Oracle VirtualBox but that's easily done and um, so thank you for watching and like I said uh, do watch the companion video where I'm installing or creating Python virtual environment in a Windows 10 machine.